Hello, my name is Rosana and I work with the Cisco SD1 tag team. In this video, you are shown how to configure application aware routing on Cisco SD1. In this topology, you have HA and HB, each one with service VPN 10 and two transports, MPLS and BIS Internet. In HA, you have two subnets, one for email and one for voice. Both communicate to server on HB. Without any policy in place, simulate flows on vManage for each subnet. Go to Monitor, Network, select HA, Troubleshooting, Simulate flows. Simulate communication between an email subnet host 192.168.2.1 and server B. 172.16.11. The result shows four available options. Use both transports on both edge devices. Simulate the flow between a voice subnet host 192.168.11 and server B. The output is the same result. Check the loss, jitter, and latency between the two edge devices on the Monitor Network HA Tunnel menu. A tunnel between endpoints of the same color have better performance. Configure the policy in Configuration, Policies, Centralized Policy, Add Policy. Select Data Prefix and then New Data Prefix List. Name the voice list. Configure the prefix and click Add. Do the same for the email subnet. Select Site, New Site List. Name the list as HA and add site 100. Select VPN, new VPN list, name the list and click add VPN 10. Now select SLA class and new SLA class list. Create one for voice traffic and one for email traffic. Add the maximum values for loss, latency and jitter for each connection. Select these values in accordance with the needs of your network and application. When the SLA for email and voice is created, click Next. Click Next until the Configure Traffic Rules section is seen. In the Application Aware Routing section, click Add Policy, Create New. Add a name and a description for the policy. Click Sequence Type and add a sequence rule. Set the matching conditions for the first sequence. Click Source Data Prefix List and select the Voice subnet from the drop-down menu. Click Actions and select SLA Class List. Select the Voice SLA from the drop-down menu and click Save Match and Actions. Add the sequence for email traffic. Set the matching conditions for the email data prefix list and set as action the SLA for email. Save the sequence. Verify the default action is set as none. Click Save Application Aware Routing Policy. Click Next. Name the centralized policy and give it a description. Click Application Aware Routing and New Site List and VPN List. Select the site list for HA and VPN 10. You can click Preview to review the policy before you save it. After you confirm the configuration is correct, click Save Policy. The policy is now created and the final step is to activate it. Click on the three dotted menu on the right of your policy and select Activate. Wait until the policy is pushed to the vSmart. Once it's finished, a success status shows. Now that the policy is pushed to HA, simulate the flows again. Simulate communication between the email host and server B. The result is the same for pets because they match the SLA configured. Now simulate the communication between the voice host and server B. The only available options are tunnel endpoints between the same color, because those are the only paths that match the configured SLA. For further troubleshooting and to check in what sequence of the application-aware routing policy the traffic is matched, 
you can check the video Determine Policy Traffic Drops on CH with Fiat Trace. Now you have configured and validated an application-aware routing policy. Thank you for the time you took to watch this video.